Hello everyone. Welcome to software testing help. I'm Sharmila and uh, in this video I'm here to share few examples of using assertions in real time automation project. So here you can see I've just summarized the test case assertion scenarios that we would be discussing. So as you can see we will uh, we will be discussing about how to verify if an object is visible on the web page to verify if a text or value is present verify whether a particular checkbox or radio button is selected or not and to verify if a particular object is editable okay so we'll uh, we have test cases already uh, scripted for these test scenarios so i will show the test cases and we'll start uh, we'll start handling assertions for those test cases so here you can see a few test cases i've already scripted so, uh, so these are some uh, examples of how do we use assertions in our real-time automation projects. So let's start with the first test case. It says verify if an alert box pops out when no captcha data is entered. So for this, when you look at the test steps, it says go to ircdc.co.in, enter valid username, password, and then click on login button. So once we perform these test steps, our expected result is this. So let's read that it says alert box should pop up. This is an expected result. Another one is the text in the alert box should have so and so. So in this test case scenario, we have two outputs, which means we need to perform two assertions. OK, now let me show you uh, this manually in the website and then we'll start scripting. So this was the website I was talking about. You have uh, isatc.co.in home page and then you enter valid username and password. And then once you click on login button, without entering captcha here. So here you have captcha. I just leave it blank. I just enter the username and password and click on login. So let me do that now. OK, so now we can see you have an alert box popping out saying enter text as captcha. So our validation is uh, covering this part wherein we are going to validate whether we have an alert box getting popped out in the in the website as well as the text inside the alert box okay so now let us start scripting the test cases test steps and then the assertion part so here i already have a test ng class created and i've just called my driver in at before test method i've initiated my chrome driver and in at after test method i've closed the driver so in at test method wherein my execution will start i will write the test steps here now let me write the test steps for that test case now so now I've uh, scripted the test steps. So first I'm navigating to IRCTC website and then I've stored all the web elements in a separate variable. I've captured it using the X path and then stored it in separate variables. And then I'm passing the username, the value of the username, passing the value of the password. So once I send my username and password, then I perform the login button click. OK, so until this is my test steps. Next, I need to assert whether I get an alert box, right? So now I will write my assertion code. So here, uh, once I click on the login button, I'm asking the driver to switch to my alert window. OK, so I assume that once uh, once the login button is clicked, definitely an alert window gets opened for a positive test case. So I say switch to the alert window. So when I say switch to this alert window, what will happen? The driver will try to find that alert window and perform the action, right? So this action, I'm going to in turn store it to another variable. OK, and the return type of this variable will be alert. So the variable alert box will hold my function that I'm performing. So this will hold a value. This will hold a proper value. Right. If this function is success, if it is able to find the alert box, this will hold a null value in case my alert box is not displayed. Right. So what what I'm doing is I'm going to perform an assertion on this alert box variable. I assert saying this variable alert box should not be null, which means that the operation that I do should not return a null value. This operation should succeed and it should uh, store a value inside the alert box variable. If it fails, then it uh, gives a null value for me. So I assert that this particular value alert box is not null, right? So that in turn 
uh, verifies whether my alert box is getting displayed in the window. Okay, so first I uh, navigate to my alert box, store that function in a variable, and then I assert whether this particular variable is not null. Okay, so now let me run this and show it to you. Now run as test ng. Okay. My Chrome driver is opening the Chrome browser. And now IRCTC website is getting invoked. It should enter username, password, and click on login button. You can see that username and password got entered and I got an alert box saying enter the text as in captcha. Now it should validate whether the alert box is present. So here you can see that my test keys has passed, right? So what happened was that username, password got entered, login button was clicked. And after that, driver switched to the alert box. Since this function returned a value, it returned a value. So I just printed that value in the next line. You can see I've printed the value of this variable. It holds some value, right? It, it is holding some value, it is not null, which means that a function was a success. Okay, so since that function holded a value, my assert not null also passed, right? This is not null, this variable is not null. And hence, the test case passed and it continued to the next step wherein the statement got printed saying alert is displayed. Okay, so this is how you handle an assertion for uh, verifying whether an alert box is displayed on a web page. Now the same test case, we have two validations. So we saw how to handle this alert box pop up. Next, we'll see how to read the text inside the alert box and assert whether the text is as per the expected text, right? So here in this case, I should verify if the alert box has the text saying enter the text as in captcha. Okay, so the test steps are going to be the same, only the assertion part is different. So I'll just write the assertion part now. Okay, so here you can see that um, this variable already has the action saying alert box uh, driver dot switch to alert, right? So first I'm switching to the alert and then from there I'm getting the content inside that alert box. So to get that content, I'm calling the method called get text. So when I call alert box dot get text, what will happen? This variable in turn will perform this action switching to the alert box and then it will get the contents. So this contents uh, in turn get stored in other variable text uh, string variable called text. Okay, so this content I'm getting it from the website and then storing it in a string variable. So this is where I'm going to perform the assertion. I'm going to perf compare this string variable with my expected text. So my expected text will be the one here. So here my expected text is enter the text tags in captcha. So this is what is my expected text. So let me enter the text there. So here I'm using my assert equals method wherein it will assert for two equal data, be it a string or an integer or a collection, anything. So in our case, it is two string values. So this is my expected string value and my actual string value is this string value that I got from my automation, right? So now let me run this and show it to you. So I have run the test, uh, test script and now my Chrome browser is getting invoked. IRCTC website is getting opened. It should enter username, password, click on login, and then perform the verification. Yeah, so I got an alert box, and now it should verify whether it is displayed as well as the content inside it. So here you can see that my test case has passed. When I look at, at the console, uh, let us analyze it. So here, um, alert box dot get text this text variable I stored it in a string I just printed it in the next line and that is what got printed here enter the text as in captcha so this text and my expected text so this is these two I'm comparing so since these two were equal my test case passed and my assertion also passed right so these two are equal so this variable variable has the value called enter the text as in captcha and my expected is also the same and hence my assertion passed, right? So this is how you uh, do an assertion on two datas or on two string values. You use assert equals. 
so that's that's it with the first test case the two assertions we saw how to handle them now the second test case let's start the second test case it says verify if logo is getting displayed on the home page so here uh, when you look at the test steps it's only navigating to a website called iactc and then my expected result is a logo should get displayed so now let me show you um, in real time here is my website and uh, once i uh, invoke this particular website i go to the home page here and verify whether my logo is displayed so this is the iactc logo i need to verify whether that is getting displayed so i will first capture this web element using any of the identif identification technique might be xpath or id or, or a css selector and then i will just verify whether this particular web element is displayed okay so now let's write the test steps for this so here i have my test steps first i'm navigating to iactc.com and then the iactc logo i've just saved it in a variable i've set it in a web element i've captured it using the xpath identifier okay and then next step is the verification part so that i am doing it using assert equals method wherein i expect a true value for a boolean condition so here my boolean condition is the logo should get displayed so for that using the web element i am just calling a method called is displayed so this is my web element iactc.logo and uh, then i am calling a method called is displayed so this method will return true if my logo is present on the web page or else a false value will be returned so here in this assert equals method i am asserting two boolean values okay this is my boolean condition and its return type will be either a true or false so so i am expecting a true value since the logo should be displayed so let me run this and show it to you now uh, i will add a print statement here so that uh, you will get to know what value is uh, thrown uh, when um, when this uh, method is invoked okay now we have added the print statement let me run it and show it to you run as test ng now the chrome driver is invoking my chrome browser iactc website is getting opened and now we should verify whether the logo is displayed here you can see that my test case has passed and when you look at the console uh, i printed the return type of this boolean condition right so when i printed that you saw you can see that the return type is true so here the value is true logo return value that is what i printed and this return value was true since this uh, value and my expected value both were same both were true right my assertion passed and my test case made a success okay so this is how you verify whether uh, any object is displayed on your web screen be it a um, web element uh, be it a uh, text you just get the text and then verify in in assert equals okay i hope you got an understanding of the two uh, assertion examples that we discussed in this video uh, in the next video we will be discussing about how do we uh, verify whether a checkbox is selected or not and how do we verify whether a particular text box is available for the user in order to interact with him okay um meet you in the next video thank you